Hi everyone, I am Dr. Prudhviraj, Consultant Endocrinologist at Arit Hospitals, Gachibowli, Hyderabad. Today I am going to talk about insulin resistance. What is insulin? Insulin is an essential hormone produced by human pancreas. In simple words, it helps your body to convert food into energy and to maintain normal blood sugars in your blood. So to maintain this normal blood sugars, our body produces certain amount of insulin in our body. If you have insulin resistance, this amount of insulin is not adequate to maintain normal blood sugars. So there will be supraphysiological production of insulin levels to maintain the normal blood sugars. This supraphysiological levels of insulin is detrimental to your body actually. It can damage your skin, blood vessels and can cause multiple complications in the long term. So it is important to identify this insulin resistance and certain adequate measures needs to be taken to overcome this insulin resistance in order to avoid certain medical complications. So what are the signs of insulin resistance? The signs of insulin resistance are uh, you can see darkening and thickening of the neck or axilla or skin folds which we call it as acanthosis. It is one important sign of insulin resistance and the other important sign of insulin resistance is belly fat. If you are suffering with your belly fat, you might, probably might have insulin resistance. You need to visit your endocrinologist once. Third sign of insulin resistance is like acne or excess hair growth for the females or excess scalp hair loss. And the fourth one is the skin tags. Skin tags, you can see some people have many skin tags over the neck and underarms. It is another marker of an insulin resistance. These are the signs of insulin resistance. And what are the symptoms of insulin resistance? The symptoms of insulin resistance are people who are having insulin resistance tend to be overweight or obese. They find it difficult to lose their weight. They, they usually crave for foods and sweets even though they have multiple meals in a day. And they tend to feel like very exhausted or tired throughout the day. And they will be having a high higher side of BP on the higher side, cholesterol triglycerides on the higher side and uric acid on the higher side. So these are the symptoms of insulin resistance what medical conditions this insulin resistance can lead to. If you have insulin resistance, you are prone to develop hypertension at a very young age. You are prone to develop type 2 diabetes at a very young age. You are at a risk of developing heart disease and brain stroke at a very young age. And you are prone to develop high uric acid and gout attacks. And you are prone to develop polycystic ovarian disease and metabolic syndromes. And these are all the metabolic conditions that are associated with insulin resistance. So we need to manage your insulin resistance in order to prevent these complications to happen for you. And what causes this insulin resistance? The main factors that cause insulin resistance can be divided into modifiable factors and non-modifiable factors. The non-modifiable factors are genetics, genes. Genes, certain genes, genetic mutations can cause insulin resistance. If your family member, any of your parents or grandparents have a family history of diabetes, you tend to have an insulin resistance. So you need to check yourself for the signs and symptoms of insulin resistance. And you need to periodically check your blood pressure, sugar and cholesterol levels. Okay, what are the modifiable risk factors uh, that cause insulin resistance? One important thing is diet. What you eat, how much you eat, at what time you eat, everything impacts your insulin resistance and can cause your damage to your body if you are not taking in a right amount. And the right quantity and another important thing is physical activity in a 24 hour day span how much physically active are staying will impact your insulin resistance and may it help increasing physical activity help you to overcome this insulin resistance the third important factor is sleep having a good amount of sleep improves your quality of life and overcomes the insulin resistance and you have to sleep for at least six to eight hours at the night to help your insulin resistance even if you sleep in the day daytime equal amount of time your insulin resistance may worsen because of the counteractive hormones which may go haywire if you sleep in the morning you stay awake in the overnight. The fourth important factor that can cause insulin resistance or worsen insulin resistance is stress. Stress can be any kind of stress. It can be physical stress or mental stress. Some physical stress examples are like normal fever, urinary tract infection, anything can worsen your insulin resistance. And coming to mental stress can be like depression, anxiety can also worsen your insulin resistance. So you need to address each and every component of these things that is diet, physical activity, sleep and stress to overcome the insulin resistance. And if required, your endocrinologist may start you on medication if you are suffering with insulin resistance or any other metabolic conditions. Thank you.